the story of the salamander that is born from fire or can live in fire close to European mythology for millennia. But the fire salamander does not live in fire. It is found in deciduous forests, on the banks of streams and near springs. It loves moisture and rain. It hibernates under or in fallen tree trunks. When people gather firewood, the salamanders can be found inside all tree trunks. When the wood is burned in stove, the salamander comes out of the wood. It is seen by man and he considers salamander born of flames. Unfortunately, the flames are the ones that stop the peace of hibernation that devours the salamander that kills it. For centuries, the fire salamander has been used by alchemists and wizards. The salamanders were cut, killed, squeezed, dried, crushed, added to all kinds of magical potions and poisons to improve their effect. It seems that no living being on earth can escape from the dementia, the alienation, the ignorance, the wickedness and the greed of the human being. The salamander's skin is black with stripes or spot colored from yellow to orange. Under the yellow stripes are often the orifices of the glands through which the salamander eliminates a toxin dangerous to vertebrates. The marking on the back is different for each animal. Every living being on earth is unique. Maybe we humans should learn some of these too. Let's not live with our heads down, on our knees, begging for our life, in uniforms, in suits, in overalls, with masks, with headphones, programmed, numbered, marked, tattooed slaves with the seal of these tyrannical leaders. Every living being on earth is unique. This is exactly what the leaders of this world do not want to hear. Only they are unique and chosen. The others are just cannon fodder, living robots for production and services, masses of maneuver for their financial and political interests lab rats for their medical and social experiments. The humans are just something like the fire salamander, which can be crushed, cut, killed, tortured, dried, squeezed in the name of acknowledges forbidden to the common people and which ennobles the elites. And as the present proves us, as does all history. Just as the salamander cannot live in fire, the human being cannot live in light. He loves mud, decrepitude and slavery. A wonderful life for all of us.